Well, hey guys, glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Short video, short video. I just wanted to talk about for a minute. Um, just the implications that this brings. Uh, a lot of you guys know that Turtle Boy got arrested, and he is actually arrested on eight felony counts, including witness intimidation. Um, the thing is about Turtle Boy's channel is he is known for this stuff. Um, it's something that's, you know, you don't have to look very far. People see it. People knows what he does. He doxes people. He goes after people. That's a part of the shtick. It's the whole drama channel thing. It's these people that think they're crime fighters or fighting for your freedoms. And they just like drama for the case of drama. But sometimes people take it too far. Now, I'm not here to, like, shit on Turtle Boy. It's not my thing. I don't care. Uh, we've had one run in, in the past, and he decided to go after my wife. And wasn't very cool with that. Now, here's the thing. Turtle Boy getting arrested, that might be a win for a lot of people. Um, but, but, hear me out here, the implications of this is way worse than you think. Now, YouTube, I don't know if Turtle Boy is monetized. I don't think, I, I'm not sure. I don't know if he's getting paid by YouTube to put the content out. I know some of these First Amendment auditors, these frauditors and drama channels, they were making money from YouTube. YouTube was paying these people to harass and commit crimes. Um, now let's let's just say let's just say this. Let's just say Turtle Boy, him doxing people, showing up to other people's homes or businesses. What if somebody that was big fan of Turtle Boy decided to take a gun and go kill everybody in a pizza shop that belongs to said victim? They just said, "Oh, Turtle Boy said, hey." Go after these motherfuckers. Turtle Boy didn't say, go kill those motherfuckers. He didn't say that. But he said, here's their address. Here's their phone number. This is their school. This is where their kids go. This is where they're hanging out after work. That's not good. It's not good. Let's just say one of these crimes happened. Let's say Turtle Boy caused one of these people to go and do something insane. Now, that's not going to look good for him at all. He can't control that. He can't control what people does. He can have, he can say, be like, hey, don't don't go after these people. It doesn't mean they won't. Um, that's the bad thing about followers. They follow blindly. Um, the thing I worry about is what if one of these things happens? What, what if somebody gets seriously hurt? And, or... In one case where he told somebody to go kill themselves on camera, which we have um, footage of. What if that happens? Well, YouTube paid these people to do it. They hosted the content that allowed this to happen. Now, we heard of the apocalypse. That happened before. That can happen again ten times worse. You think it was bad before? Next time... None of us are going to have a platform. It's going to be mainstream media all over. No more independent videos or anything like that. I know that's like a big stretch, but that's a good possibility of that happening. Um, and that's just if things go really, really bad. And I talk about like the frauditors, how they try to tell you to don't talk to police, run from police. Um, especially if you have warrants for your arrest or anything like that. Um, I always say that's a bad idea because you can get seriously hurt. Uh, you know, cops already have it bad enough, and this isn't me, like, licking boots. Um, you know, they already worry about getting shot at their jobs. I'm sure pulling up on some jack-off and he decides to pull out the $5 Fifth Amendment card um, and the cop thinks it's a gun and shoots the cop, the guy, that's probably not good. These people are snake oil salesmen, okay? They're they're not giving you actual good advice. They're not. If somebody tells you to go after somebody, don't fucking do that. Obviously, morality plays a big part in this. You don't want to be the jack off that causes, you know, bad things to happen to every single creator on the platform. And I think a lot of these creators that do this stuff, they don't really care. They don't care what the consequences is as long as they get the clicks and the views and the money and the profits. Um, it's not good. It's not good. You see a lot of channels that are fighting this. They're, they're trying to say, hey, YouTube, this is happening. This is happening right here. Why won't you look? 
Why won't you take a look at this shit? This is happening. And for some odd reason, they get silenced. But then you have the drama channels like this that get propped up. They get the views. You know, most of them are probably buying the views. But once they get into the algorithm, it's going to get go further and further and further. This is not a good president for the platform. It's not. It's really not. Um, you know, I like I myself. Um, I don't like to dox people. I don't want to. I, I took a look at a short the other day, and I had a picture of a um, license plate, and I never thought about it. I thought it was funny, but retrospectively, that was sort of doxing. Now, if somebody would have went after that person with that specific license plate, I had no control over that. But it's on YouTube's platform. Not good. Not good. I, I, I don't want... you. Know, obviously, I want you to be able to make the content that you want. But there's a point where you have to take a look in the common sense and decency before you post something online that's possibly going to affect somebody in the real life or the online space in general. Um, YouTube will not be a platform if shit like this continues to happen. Um, you know, one of the good things you could do is follow independent tech like Rumble and stuff like that, which I, I don't, I had a Rumble channel for a moment and I never posted in anything to it. Um, but yeah, like it's fucking crazy. Like I, I seen this and there's people cheering for, uh, Turtle Boy. I'm like, why are you cheering, man? This isn't fucking cheerable. Why are you cheering? Like there's no evidence or anything that he's provided that's, you know, that sticks out. I know a lot of people are pretty brainwashed for this motherfucker, but dude, like seriously, be careful. Uh, this is me. Like whenever I talk to you about the, when I brought up the telling somebody to kill themselves on camera, don't fucking do that. Don't do that. You're better than that. I hope at least I'm not attacking you, man. Um, I don't want to but let some other people do that. I'm, I'm not here to do that. I'm here to say, be fucking careful what you do online because it's going to follow you. And it might not be just online. It might be in the real world. And you don't want the consequences of that to sit on your head. That's just my opinion. I don't know what you think. You might think I'm a stupid bastard, stupid fat bastard. I, I don't really fucking care. I, I try to look in the good of people. I try. But sometimes you gotta be like, you gotta have some common sense, man. Gotta have a little bit of common sense and have a little bit of morality. <laughs> Don't do it just because YouTube's giving you some clicks, giving some of that revenue, that ad revenue, that sweet moolah. Fame and fortune does shit to people. It's fucking crazy, dude. It's crazy. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. Um, sorry, this was a nonsensical rant about. A lot of different things, but my whole thing is like stuff like this is going to look bad on the platform as a whole. It doesn't just affect bigger streamers, it affects the whole damn platform. And once this stuff gets out of control, which it will, then we're not going to have channels like this or anything like that. It's just going to be mainstream bullshit. That's my opinion. Don't have to believe me. That's okay. Love you guys.